Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently Microsoft started rolling out their latest feature update for Windows 11 version 22H2, also as it's known the Windows 11 2022 update. And that was on a controlled staggered rollout about two days or so ago. Now with Windows 11 version 22H2, Microsoft say um, they have made a couple of improvements regarding the Windows update process and also uh, the support cycle for the update in version 22H2. Now, first of all, regarding uh, Windows update, um, they say they have improved the um, the actual download size of the feature update version 22H2 compared to the Windows 11 version 21H2 update. And they say they've reduced the download size of the feature update for version 22H2 by 450 megabytes, that's 14%. And they've reduced the install disk space requirement for the feature update that it actually takes up on your, your drive storage or your hard drive or your SSD by 399 megabytes, and that's 8%. So um, they say the feature updates now um, are a lot smaller and take up a lot less disk space compared to uh, those of version 21H2. Now, um, also regarding version 22H2, the cumulative updates um, have also had improvements and the cumulative updates, unlike the feature updates, are the updates that rolled out near the end of every month and the beginning of every month. So that's your B and C release updates. And regarding the cumulative updates for version 22H2, um, they've improved um, the updates by making them smaller to download, um, according to Microsoft, faster to install and consuming less disk space once again and how they've done this for the cumulative updates in version 22h2 um, they say they've structured the cumulative update to enable you to request only those files that have changed and this allows the devices servicing stack which is the component that's responsible for windows update to request only the differences or the differentials that are needed so um, it will only request files that have changed and if there's unchanged files then those are not requested thereby making the downloads of the cumulative updates um, in the month, the B and C release updates um, faster and smaller and quicker to install. So those are two improvements regarding Windows update when it comes to the actual updates in version 22H2. And then um, they've also say uh, Windows update is committed to helping reduce carbon emissions. And if we click on learn more, this is another improvement in version uh, 22H2. They say starting with Windows, 11 version 22H2 Windows Update is now carbon aware, making it easier for your devices to reduce carbon emissions. When devices are plugged in, uh, turned on, connected to the internet and, region, and regional carbon intensity data is available, Windows Update will schedule installations at specific times of the day when doing so may result in lower carbon emissions because a higher proportion of electricity is coming from lower carbon sources or the electric grid and they've also made some changes to the default power settings for screen and sleep to help reduce carbon emissions when computers are idle so obviously as mentioned um that the other improvement is windows update is committed to helping reduce carbon emissions in version 22h2 and then uh, the last um kind of improvement for windows 11 version 22h2 is regarding the actual um support of the update and if we just look at the windows 11 home and pro which applies to the following editions home pro pro education pro for workstations and se that's student edition now if we look here at the bottom uh, version 21 h2 was rolled out on october the 4th 2021 and its end of support for the actual feature update uh, that version 21 h2 is october the 10th 2023 that's next year and then version 22h2 which rolled out uh, on the 20th of september that's about two days or so ago in my region now um basically has 24 months of support and that end end of support for version 22h2 the feature update is on october the 14th 2024 now something interesting here just to take note of is they yeah they say um windows 11 home and pro which um, rolled out in version 21H2, that was the actual original release of Windows 11. The start date was October the 4th, 2021, as mentioned. 
and yeah when they say retirement date in support so this is basically when they plan to, to stop supporting windows 11 in general the actual windows 11 operating system not just the feature updates and it still says in support so um, at this stage um you know there have been rumors of um, a windows 12 operating system so it, when they're saying in support currently and um, that could basically uh, downplay any rumors when it comes to a windows 12 operating system because in support um means that um by the the retirement date for windows 11 yet hasn't been decided so possibly um we won't be getting a windows 12 but with microsoft as i always say um, time will tell but nonetheless i thought that was interesting regarding um the retirement date of the actual operating system and then obviously the feature updates support now for give or take 24 months and then those uh, those um faster and quicker updates regarding the feature updates and the smaller updates regarding the feature updates and the cumulative updates so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one